Yes. Probably the biggest thing and the biggest thing you can notice downtown is the wrap up of the stellar project mm -hmm. so the streetscapes are done. We are uh, loaded. We're getting a uh, vehicle to take us all up there as a group. Let's driving everybody up there separately. When you've got the volunteers that went out in the search parties, you've got the business community, you've got religious organizations, you've got community organizations that are coming out here to help. You've got businesses that are dropping everything to come in to provide food to families, provide food to uh, law enforcement officers okay. here. We are so what's next for 2017? Uh, we've got a lot going on for Delphi. Um, okay, we are uh, loaded. We're getting a uh, vehicle to take us all up there as a group. Let's drive everybody up there. Um, we got the Community Crossings grant. Uh, in 2016 from NDOT, so we've got some road work that we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. um, one of the big projects we're going to have is a water and sewer expansion, so we're looking to double our capacity um, to try to attract industry. Um, at the same time, we're trying to get out of the current water aquifer we're in right now. Pick up, pick up. This is going to take us up yeah, there versus uh, yeah. bringing several vehicles. So we'll be up there in just a minute. Quite a few projects here in the city of Delphi. We had this opera house project, which was the cornerstone of the Stellar Grant. We've had facade restoration, streets, sidewalks, trails, and owner-occupied rehabilitation done within the city. The streets used to be pretty empty after dark, and now with new businesses within the community, there's a vibrancy, there's a sense of life. We are uh, loaded. We're getting a vehicle to take us all up there as a group. Let's drive everybody up there. Step over. Pick up. This is going to take us up there. Yeah, right, we'll versus uh, yeah. bringing several vehicles. So we'll be up there in just a minute. Yeah, I think they want to help, and they they just really love this community and I saw that as my opportunity to give back as well. We've been able to accomplish quite a bit in the last four and a half years in the city of Delphi in terms of infrastructure projects, um, in terms of waterworks and improving our system and um, our production rates and our transmission rates. Pick up, pick up. This is going to take us up there versus uh, bringing several vehicles. So we'll be up there in just a minute. There are certain families that will come in every month when they're paying their water bill and their kids will come up and say hello. Just that, that interaction, even if it's just once a month, with people that you probably never would have got to see or talk to, uh, those sorts of things uh, make your heart flutter a little bit. Okay, we are uh, loaded. We're getting a uh, vehicle to take us all up there as a group. Let's drive everybody up there. Separately. Pick up, we'll pick up. This is going to take us up there versus uh, bringing several vehicles. So we'll be up there in just a minute. Guys. Guys. To enjoy while you're here, I mean, whether it's the good food, the great people, uh, the atmosphere, just how wonderful downtown Delphi is. Um, as mayor, you don't get to do anything first. You have to do everything at the same time. It's what's great, it's what's frustrating, um, but you have to do everything at the same time. And you need to pursue both at the same time. Um, I think 
it's probably more important on the commercial side to renovate what we have um, as commercial seems to be more densely populated. Uh, so if you have one building in the downtown that's shoddy and in bad condition, that's going to affect the property values of the surrounding buildings. You're going to have the same thing to an effect in the residential side, depending on how close the houses are together, how tight the neighborhoods are. You may still see that trend, which actually increases crime and does some other things. Um, but I think you see a better correlation on the commercial side when you're pretty close together. But again, that's a subjective opinion based upon what I what I believe. When I left that group, uh, I was already dressed out, and I came up closer to the scene. Okay, we are uh, loaded. We're getting uh, vehicle to take us all up there as a group. Let's driving everybody up there. Yeah. Back up, we'll pick up. This is going to take us up there versus uh, bringing several vehicles. So we'll be up there in just a minute. No hurry. <laughs> Science um, is always helpful, and normally, as time goes on, it's becoming conclusive, isn't it? Particularly DNA. But there's no better evidentiary matter than what human beings saw and can articulate what they saw or what they think and articulate why they think they do what they do, you see. So we have all kinds of opportunity, um, and just imagine what happens when um, we all live in peace together on this planet, right? I, I believe that we can and we trust one another, we not like one another. It's hard to hate up close, but when we, when we truly communicate with each other, good things tend to happen, whether it be with a complex homicide, whether it be with an intentionally set fire. Um, good prevails over evil, not the other way around, and we can't let that happen.